Greetings, my friends. I've got much more end times prophecy stuff to, to share with you this week, but I feel the Lord has led me to bring you this word tonight. And I always try to follow how the Lord leads me, how the Holy Spirit leads. So many Christians are worried about the Georgia runoffs because so many Christians are straight Republicans. I'm an independent, uh, always have been. And um, I vote for whoever I think is the person who will do the best for us biblically. And I understand the, the, not the fear, because there is no fear in Jesus Christ, but I understand the apprehension that many Christians have uh, about the runoffs in, in Georgia. But I'm here to tell you, I've been praying that the Lord would allow the Democrats to win both Senate seats. And no, I haven't lost my mind. And I believe that all Christians should pray that way. See, understand this, and I've talked about it many, many times, and I need to focus on it right now to get you to, to, to feel me and, and feel what I'm saying, what I'm telling you, and just track with me here. President Trump has stopped the one world government in its tracks for the last four years. And with him being gone now, you've got the opening with President Biden to actually... Uh, allow the one world government in to not only here in the former America, now no more because there's no more, it's a wicked, filthy, evil cesspool, but to allow the entire world to engulf uh, this country, the great whore of Babylon, and to ensure her, to, to, her instructions are her instructions are already, already insured, but to, to expedite it. And with President Trump gone, that's huge. And he is gone, by the way, as president. Uh, you can think what you want to think. He's gone, and don't be upset that he lost the presidency because no matter what happened in the presidency, no matter what happened in, in any of it, God's in charge. God allowed what happened uh, happened to happen. But see, we've got to be, we're kind of in a, a, a pickle here. <clears throat> we need to have the Democrats have the control over the Senate. They have the House right now. They have the presidency. We need to then control the Senate. Uh, the two seats, if they win both, it's 50-50. And then, of course, the vice president will cast the deciding vote, and she will always vote for, with the Democrats. So we need this to happen so they can push their entire agenda through. We want the Democrats to push through every socialist uh, slash communist, whatever they want to do, push it through. Because when they do, that means we're going home even sooner. You, you get what I'm saying? You track with me? The sooner that the one world government comes upon this country and the rest of the world, the sooner that, that more and more evil laws and evil bills and evil things happen in this country and abroad, because this country, again, influences the entire world, the sooner the bride of Christ gets to go home, because when this stuff creeps upon us and it's right in front of our faces, boom, we're out of here. When God has Jesus snatched us away, we can go home. If things continued on with Republicans holding the majority in the Senate, they could block all the Democrat stuff, and we could be going for another uh, two years or another four years of the same thing. Only God knows for sure. God's in charge. Rest assured, God's in charge. Understand that. He's in charge of Israel. You know, there's a lot of unrest there, and uh, yet more elections coming. God's in charge, and God will allow to happen what he wants to happen, and God will not allow to happen what he does not want to happen. And this country... <clears throat> don't think this, that, that God blesses this country anymore. This country is an eyesore. It's a festering, purulent eyesore in God's eyes because it is turned against God, turned against Jesus, turned against the Holy Bible, turned against true Christianity, and it's a wicked, evil place. Uh, I, in my humble opinion, this country of uh, no America, former America, is the most wicked place on the face of the earth, bar none. I believe it's much worse than it ever was in the days of Noah, the days of Stalin and Gomorrah, or any time. History is an awful place, and, I'm, and I can't imagine how sad God and Jesus are at what's going on. So you pray how you want to pray. You think how you want to think. We all have free will. But I'm telling you as a pastor and a watchman what I believe, and you can believe what you want to believe, but I hope you're tracking with me, and I hope what I'm saying is sinking in to your cranium, and you're understanding, hey, hey, Paul's making sense here, okay? And it's not because of me. I take my leading from the Holy Spirit and what I do, and I believe I'm being led to bring this message to you again because we need this kind of stuff to happen. And, 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 and we needed President Trump to be gone because he was going to stop all this stuff. We need the Democrats to control the Senate because we don't, want, we don't want this stuff to be stopped. We want it to go faster and faster and faster so we can go faster and faster and faster off this wicked, filthy planet and this country and the rest of the world because I've got people that watch my sermons and videos 
in 130 something countries. We all want to leave our countries for our permanent home in heaven. Praise the Lord. So you believe what you want to believe, think what you want to think. Whatever happens in this election is going to happen. Same way in the presidential election, God chose Joe Biden to be president now. He raises up leaders and brings them down. It was time for President Trump to go, time for President Joe Biden to come up, and we'll see what God decides with the two senators. I believe the Democrats are going to win. I'm just saying that in my personal opinion, but we'll see what happens, and I hope they do. And again, you believe what you want to believe, but please, whatever you do, whatever you do or don't believe about this, make sure you're ready to go to heaven at all times. Make sure you're witnessing praying for the lost constantly. Our time to do so is short. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. Look up true Christians are different to the Ivy Fly Sim. May God bless you. Again, share this video, all my videos and sermons. I'm sensing relentlessly across social media because my faith. They hate Jesus. They hate me. I love you. Share. Bye.